And I really feel a sense of accomplishment with the Children of the Dream program. And I want to talk about it for a few minutes, then I'm going to shut up and we'll all go home. <laughs> Children of the Dream was born. We bought 10 Ethiopian Israelis. You know when it was born, I was watching, my wife and I were watching television. And we were watching the Israeli, uh, Israel rescuing Ethiopian, um, Ethiopian uh, Jews. And Ethiopian Jews are black. And I said to my wife, wouldn't it be a wonderful thing if we could find some Ethiopian Jewish people in Israel that spoke English, and we brought them to Los Angeles, and we plugged them into our high schools to talk to students about themselves and, and uh, let them look to see that there are uh, Jews that are black, and they could relate to people. And so I said, why don't we try that? And I went to the Anti-Defamation League and to Marjorie Green, and we started Children of the Dream. It was born. We raised some money, we brought 10 Ethiopian Israeli students in minority areas to Los Angeles. Teachers and students invited them into their classrooms on a voluntary basis. It was amazing to watch non-Jewish students discover that Jews could be black. It was wonderful to see the students bonding as they told stories of how they and their parents walked long distances to leave their countries of birth to seek a better life. We raised some money and brought 10 students from Israel and placed them in classrooms where the teachers and the school boards volunteered to host them. The next year we brought 10 new students to, last, to LA and after they returned home we picked one minority student from each of those 10 schools and we sent them to Israel and uh, it was just fantastic. The discussion among these kids was just huge. The next year we brought 10 new students to Los Angeles and after the return home, we selected minority students from each school and vis uh, from each school visited and sent them to Israel for 10 days. But you know what it was exciting to watch? That first group, we had five African-American kids, five Latino kids, and they met each other for the first time as we talked about what they were gonna do, how apart they were before the trip, and how they became a family after the trip. The third phase, the following year, was the best. After our Los Angeles students returned home, we put together LA students who had gone to Israel and met their Ethio and who had met their Ethiopian uh, uh, people who were in their classrooms. And uh, the first diversity program was begun. We took the we took those kids who had gone to Israel with white Jewish kids, and we began a program. The first group wanted to produce three video vignettes of their experience on hate on our campuses. They were the writers, producers, actors, and actresses. They took the film into high school classes, played the film, and led a discussion of what did you see, who did you see, how did you feel what, uh, about what was going on. They were the teachers for that moment. The second group put a mural on the ADL building, but the third group decided to write a book for primary grade students. It was fantastic reading three short stories to five to eight-year-old students and listening to their questions and watching their faces as they began to understand that even though we may look a bit, a bit different, we are all alike. It was great until ADL killed that program. I had 100 students ready to go out. But there's a woman here tonight. I hope she's still here. Betty Weinberg, are you here? Is Betty still here? Stand up, Betty. Betty Weinberg, you know, I, I've been in the teaching business a long time, and one of the things about the teaching business is how do you get the intention, the attention and motivation of kids? How do you put them together and mold them into a group? And that's what Betty did. She took those kids up to camp, she brought them back, and she put all of these programs together. The book, the, 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 uh, book for primary students is still around. Uh, she put together the movie. She is fantastic. And what I'm saying to you here tonight, if there's anybody here, Betty is now out of, the, uh, out of ADL. She's uh, working in um, uh, Orange County. In, in a, but I'm going to tell you something. You ought not to let her get out of the room until some of you grab her and tell her we want to do something like that in our school district because it is the most. You know what? When you read the newspaper and you look at all of the things that are happening with diversity, with blacks versus Latinos versus Jews and all of that stuff, and you say, what the hell should, what, what can we do about it? She had part of the answer because if you start with these kids at five years old and six years old and seven year old, you don't have to worry about them when they get to be 14, 15, and 16 years old. Betty, stand up again so you get a look at her.